my name is my name is vijay and uh, i'm from hyderabad i have been learning agile since last 6 years and uh, i have re recently been part of an agile transformation large scale agile transformation where around uh, 60 60 teams are transformed into agile so i have contributed to around uh, 10 teams in terms of training for two days agile values fundamentals and uh, scrum framework lean and kanban and uh, followed by uh, six to eight sprints of coaching for those teams so i'm going to talk about some of the observations and challenges and uh, anti patterns and some suggestions best practices based on my coaching to those teams and what is the takeaway of the session is there any takeaway from a 20 minute session okay there is so if you feel some of these observations or challenges found in your teams also feel happy because they are not unique for you they are universal problems or if you are planning to transform some teams to agile this information will be helpful for you so that it can be done little better okay so how many of you agree a scrum master is a team spirit guardian why why is a team spirit guardian he is the one guru he is the one pro friend and he is the coach he takes care of the teams so he works for the team to make his team great high performance teams right okay so when i started working with these teams what i understand was it was very natural that these teams are undergoing through the what is that tuckman ladder right forming storming norming performing and adjourning where you have the forming stage lot of team members will have different skill sets different mindsets different uh, religious uh, backgrounds right but the observation what i had was we conducted for some of the teams a self forming exercise where the team members come together they form their own teams based on the guidelines that we give generally like okay this team needs three developers and two testers and they should have this background domain domain expertise and they should have these technical skills so those teams the duration of forming to performing is actually less than somebody else's form the teams based on their requirements their demand the reason is when you let the team choose themselves to form a team the initial buy in and the accountability and the commitment will be more high right another point i observed is if the scrum master or the coach is uh, he he has more uh, agile perspective and agile knowledge and uh